A long, long time, far, far away, a beautiful princess lived in a castle with very long hair. He's coming! Uh, no, Leah. Uh, Here he comes! Oh, oh! Crazy monster's gonna attack! No, Leah, this is a pretty story. Let me start over. A long, long time, far, far away, the princess ruled the land with her friends. The crazy monkey! <laughs> no, Leia! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You're ruining it! Welcome to Kid Brokers. This episode is a perfect example of where stock ideas come from. This definitely gives me an idea. The Kid Brokers, they love their pop figures. They look cool and allow them to mix their favorite characters from different franchises with what is basically the same toy. Funko has a huge collector following. Do a quick Google search and you'll find hundreds of websites dedicated to their pop figures. The best thing about Funko is the vast licenses that they have. Huge ones from Disney, Star Wars, DC, and Marvel to niche collectible focusing on specific tastes like Sharknado. Disney's the coolest. I love my Elsa figure. No way! Friday is the 13th! How the coolest figures. That's the serving. The problem with Funko? It's a private company. So who can we invest in then? We are going to look at who sells them and does exclusive pop figures. Here's who sells them in retail. GameStop. They have Mario in the window. Let's take a break and go get the new Call of Duty. Target. Hey, we have one of those at the mall. It's right. So this a Caden Walmart. Barnes & Noble. I like books. I can't wear it yet. Walmart. The place that has it all. They are the retail overlords. And Best Buy. They sell the coolest tech. The Amazon demo show. Let's whittle down the list a little. First, we can eliminate Barnes & Noble. It's the most expensive of the group, trading at almost 60 times its earnings. Books deserve more respect. The stock was overrated. Just write books. Who needs those words things? GameStop, it's a keeper. It's trading at six times its earning and has a dividend yield of 6%. Either this stock is a bargain or it's a trap. It's a trap! <laughs> That's from Star Wars. The others are closely priced and have similar yields. I'm going to eliminate Target and Walmart because there are broader retail stores. Best Buy is a little more focused. Target and Walmart did look attractive, so we may revisit them in the future episodes. That leaves us with GameStop and Best Buy. Two men answer! One man weep! Thunderdome! Nice! The problem with these two stocks is that they are retail. And retail is scary at this time. In my opinion, future retail is going to be very focused and have small footprints. I like GameStop for this. I guess it wasn't the best buy after all. Did you get that one, Leah? A game? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at GameStop and see if it can make the kid broker's watch list. Let's do some quick pros and cons. Pro, 6.5 PE, that certainly is cheap. Don't say it, Leah. Con. 6.5 P.E. This can indicate an earnings decline. P.E. sounds like you pee in the potty. 6% yield on a dividend that is a steady payout? That's a pro. A con is digital downloads. The stock has been hammered for fears of digital games eating into the profits. And they have. Pro. Funko Pop and ThinkGeek. GameStop purchased ThinkGeek to help diversify its in-store offerings. We do like that stuff. Right. You're crazy monkey! 
what it comes down to for GameStop is, do you think they'll sell merchandise and game add-ons, or will they simply go away? Toys, shirts, controls, and stuff. Duh! At this point, GameStop doesn't look ultra compelling. What else does it have going for it? Nintendo! The Nintendo Switch uses cartridges. I don't know what that word. <laughs> That's a good point. The new Nintendo is going to have cartridges and their amiibo figures are huge sellers. I've purposely hidden amiibos from the kids for fear of the impact it would have on my wallet. What? Wait a minute. With VR gaming on the horizon, GameStop could transform into a demo store that sells Nintendo toys and geek apparel. With a small footprint and niche market, I believe that this is the type of retail that will survive in the future. Don't forget the in-store event. Another aspect to drive customers in is the in-store events and traveling road shows. They have a spruces ride. You're crazy monkey! For all these reasons, I'm going to add GameStop to the Kid Brokers watch list. Next episode, the Kid Brokers get their allowance and will make their first stock purchase. Go to kidbrokers.com on the main page as a purchase poll. So far, Apple is on top. We will see where it ends up next week. I will leave you with the crazy monkey. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Good night, everybody. This is just like super silly. I like to poop a pants a lot. Because she's weird. If my sister heard this, then she would be.